All right, hello guys, and welcome to this weekly forecast. This one's going to go from the 15th of September until the 22nd of September, Sunday to Sunday. We're going to get started with our precipitation forecast, then move on to the temperature forecast, and then we're going to move on to the special note segment, which is a really cool segment that you should stay tuned for because it's going to be a little bit more specific with what you could expect for your area. Now, before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to check out the links in the description for our social medias. Now, looking at our precipitation forecast, you can see there is a lot going on here, and I'm going to start out in the southeast where we're going to be quite dry here. Not a lot going on for these areas. It's going to be particularly dry for these areas because they expect more precipitation than areas to their north on average, but all of these areas will get almost no precipitation during this entire week, with the exception of Texas there in southern Texas. I'll talk a little bit more about that in the special note segment. You can see that for the four corner states, we do have a bit of precipitation. It doesn't take a lot to get you guys above your average, and we're going to get a little bit of, bit of precipitation here uh, in the coming couple of days, and that's going to push you guys above your average, obviously, for the week, as you don't expect too much precipitation, especially this time of year. Now, you can see for the northwest and really the north central United States, we do expect above average precipitation in this light green shade from California up through the northwest and then all the way through to Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa. We're expecting a slightly above average precipitation conditions to really take over for the entire weeks here for the entire week here. Uh, we could have some storminess, particularly there by Minnesota and Wisconsin. We've been seeing that for, I think, about a month now. We've been seeing a lot of storminess there, so it's not going to be anything you guys aren't really used to as of the last little while, but yeah, we're going to be seeing slightly above average precipitation for these areas. Now, for the northwest there, northern California into the coasts of Oregon and Washington, you can see we do have that medium shade of green there as well. That's where we're expecting a noticeable amount of above average precipitation, and then even in that darkest shade of green there for the very coastal regions of Oregon and Washington, that's where we expect far above average precipitation. So it's going to be quite rainy and quite stormy. Again, I will talk about that again in the special note segment for you guys. Now we're going to move on to our temperature forecast here. And you can see it really is usually an area of below average and an area of above. And that's what we see here. It doesn't look too much different than last week. Below average temperatures there for the western United States in that light blue. It won't be too noticeable. It'll be pretty close to average, but on paper, it's going to be below average for you guys. But in that medium shade of blue, that'll be a lot more noticeable there for eastern Oregon, western Idaho, Nevada, and portions of eastern California alike. We're all going to be seeing below average temperatures in a pretty moderate amount of it, and it will be noticeable, like I said before. Now, for east of the Rockies, you're pretty much all at least in this light orange shade. That's where it's not going to be too noticeable, but it will be above average on paper. In this orange, though, in that medium shade of orange or red, that's where we expect a pretty noticeable amount of above average temperatures there. And again, it will be quite noticeable and pretty moderately above average. And in this red, that's where we expect far above average temperatures for this time of year. It's going to be quite warm. We did talk about this in our pattern change video that we could be seeing a very big warm up from about the 15th till at least the 20th here for the northern United States. And sure enough, that's coming true as we're going to see these areas be very warm over the next uh, week or so. And it's, it's pretty much a heat wave at this point. I think some people call it uh, an Indian summer where, in, where summer basically continues into early fall. And we see this quite frequently. So that's kind of what we're dealing with right now. Now, for your special note segment of the video, we actually have six special notes in this episode. So it's quite the eventful week, actually. We have a lot going on and a lot to go over. Now, for your first special note, obviously, we have the cool down there for the western United States. The cool air is sticking around. Uh, for at least through this week. Last week we had it quite similar to this. And, you know, with a lot of the elevation differences, it is going to vary from, you know, different levels of elevation. But for the most part, all of these areas will be pretty cool compared to your normal. So cool air sticks around through the weeks for you guys, or through the week at least, for you guys out west, about west of the Rockies, I would say. Now, heat wave sticks around there for the eastern United States, east of the Rockies. The Rockies seems to be what really divides the two temperature differences. 
Uh, we do see this heat wave that looks to stick around for all of these areas, basically, again, from, from the Rockies to the central United States, and then into the Great Lakes, Gulf states, and the eastern United States. All of these areas are basically going to have a heat wave. And again, if you look back at the temperature forecast, particularly those oranges and reds are going to be where it's most noticeable for you guys out there. Now, special note number three, for you guys out there in the Pacific West, Northern California, North Western Nevada, I don't think that counts as Pacific Northwest, but still, the Pacific Northwest and surrounding areas are going to be dealing with stormy conditions. Multiple storms for you guys over this next week. Nothing you guys aren't really used to, but it hasn't been like this for a little bit, and it kind of reminds me of last fall slash winter. I think we had conditions like this out there. You guys will have to correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we had similar conditions to this, and it looks to happen again this year uh, for at least this week. Now, we're going to be dealing with potential snow out here for a lot of these Rockies as we look at your fourth special note here, uh, as well as some of the mountains there for Washington, some of the mountains there for California, Utah. I think that counts as Rockies still. Southern Rockies into the central northern Rockies. We're going to be dealing with potential snow over the entire week. We'll be seeing off and on chances at snow for you guys. And it is that time of year. If you checked out my video on average snowfall, we do see those areas see their first snowfall before October. And we're at uh, the 15th of September now. So it's getting that time of year. This isn't too crazy, but I just wanted to mention it that we are seeing a lot of areas see their first snow this week, which is pretty exciting for you guys who love the wintertime season. Now, I wanted to mention that the European model for the northwestern regions of Wyoming, I almost doubt anybody in my videos lives there, but I just wanted to mention that they do have a pretty moderate snowstorm for you guys. For you guys, it's moderate. For most other areas, it's actually a pretty big snowfall. I think it showed 10 inches plus of snow for some of those uh, northwestern regions of Wyoming, so that's pretty exciting. We'll have to definitely make a first uh, our first snowfall forecast for that if it does happen. I'm excited to pull out the snowfall forecast and make my first snowfall forecast for a snowstorm, which is really exciting news to see our first measurable snowstorm uh, of the year if that does happen. Now, your fifth special note is little to no precipitation for a lot of these areas in Texas, Oklahoma, uh, through the Gulf states, again, into some of those uh, Great Lakes states, New England, Mid-Atlantic, Southeast, all of you are going to be dealing with little to no precipitation. Obviously, some areas might get a bit of rain, but for the most part, from the 15th through the 22nd, almost no precipitation for these areas. It's going to be quite dry. Now, again, with the exception of southern Texas, so we're going to have to get into that now. We do have tropical activity possible for these areas we have a lot going on with the tropics with that tropical storm out there uh, that's located just offshore of florida that one doesn't look to impact the united states directly which is really good news bermuda might be at risk uh, i don't really forecast for bermuda but we might make a forecast if they're looking at a direct hit just to just in case somebody is from bermuda or in bermuda on my channel but that looks to go out to sea and possibly hit Bermuda, but we do actually have some tropical activity going on in the Gulf, and all the models basically have it heading onshore to Texas. Now, at this point, we're not really sure if it's going to be a tropical depression, tropical storm, hurricane. Nevertheless, it is going to bring effects of some sort of intensity, whether that be rain or wind. You will be feeling some effect from this tropical wave, I guess we'll call it. That is going to, I think it's towards the later portion of the week. I'd say from the 18th through the 22nd is when we have that risk there. And after this point, um, it looks to head north and maybe bring rain to some of those inland regions of Texas and storminess. So it could bring a lot of rain to you guys. I think you guys in Texas have been dealing with a drought. You'll have to correct me. I have a lot of Texas viewers, so you guys will have to correct me if I'm wrong. But I, I, I've been hearing people complain about how dry it is in Texas, so... Hey, if it's a weak tropical system, maybe it's good news for you guys to get a few inches of rain there uh, if you have been dealing with a drought. Hopefully not all very fast because that would also be bad news, but hopefully you guys get precipitation if it has been as dry as you guys have been saying. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. That was our last special note. I think that's the most special notes I've ever had in a weekly forecast, six. 
So we kind of broke a world record there for direct weather. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next week in our next weekly forecast.